Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tony McKeag and it's Saturday morning. Now it's my plan today to do another update on the new road. Now yesterday there was a, another flyover, another drone flyover published on YouTube for the road and this is quite an interesting one and through this video I'm going to be introducing some stills of mine I'm going to put some screenshots in from the video and I will also uh, cover off a few of the interesting um, things to date so I'm heading off I'm heading first to the ashes end and then I'll go over to the other side and take the photos as I go now there's not much wind out there, so we might be able to get out of the car. But otherwise, we'll just see how we go. Thank you. Welcome back. Now, I'm in the Gorge car park right now. And the things that are happening here is there are two bridges being built. And the fill going up the hill. So... The, all the pile, in terms of the river bridge, all the piles have been driven. Um, one here is starting to grow above ground level. The middle here is being capped. And the further away here, the one by the railway line, is about to be capped. So... This project is separated into four zones. This is zone one. So the second bridge goes across an area of wetland, which is of significance. And it's also proving to be a bit of a challenge in the sense that they describe the high artesian pressures, which simply means there's a lot of springs and a lot of water coming out of the ground. Then from there it goes up the hill and that particular fill is complete and the batters for the most part are grass. There's a few to complete. Anyway, that's it. Next one will be zone two. Right, I'm in the Ashes Domain car park now and just took some photographs of the road as it climbs up through zone two. Zone 2 is basically the climb initially with a huge amount of fill and then the biggest cut on the job. That cut they have taken a million cubes out of and they have, uh, they're standing at 15 metres down and have to go to 55 at one point. Um, <clears throat> it's, that's a million Sorry, yeah, that's a million cubes of two million cubes to come out of there. And effectively, Zone 2 takes it virtually to the crest of the hill. It's a bit disappointing. There's no gear working today because it's been, we've had quite a bit of rain. And it's too wet to work. So, um, that's that. One of the features uh, of that, and you can't really see it clearly here, there's a a Queen Elizabeth uh, Trust, a area that's been set aside. They're having to build quite a bit of fill there, which includes building a 30 metre high wall, which is quite a significant amount. All right, thank you. I'm at the top of uh, Saddle Road right now and just taking another couple of pictures. Uh, from up on high there's not much to be seen of zone 3 zone 3 is pretty much running along the top and in a pretty flat and swampy sort of an area the challenges there are water and a unstable subsoil which they're pretty much going to have to clean right out and replace they're actually dragging um, mudstone from the Woodville end all the way through to um, Zone 3 
to fill some of the eastern end of zone 3. Thank you. I'm over the Woodville side of the gorge now and just taking a couple more photos of this side. I think what I'm going to do is compare some of the images that I took last time I did this review with this time and it'll give you a bit of an idea of what's going on. This side features also a big cut which is not fully um, visible from this point where I've taken the photo from but it's pretty impressive. Yeah, they're pretty much on track with the excavation side of things. They are just on 3,000 cubes excavated of the 6,000 proje projected. It's a huge project um, for a, I think it's a 12 kilometer long road. Hey, um, I'm going to wrap the video up at this point. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the content, please like the content. And if you want to give me some feedback, please make some comments on the YouTube page below. I really do appreciate you uh, watching this far. Thank you very much.